Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about the overall crypto market. Will it reach $80 trillion and when will that actually happen? Will it reach $80 trillion? I do believe that um, I do believe that it will actually reach $80 trillion, but it's going to take a lot longer than some people think. A lot of people are thinking like 2028 to 2030 or about 10 years to reach $80 trillion. I actually think it will take a lot longer than that. I don't think there's any chance really that cryptocurrency, I don't think crypto will just basically take over. Um, I don't think actually crypto will actually take over the actual econ economy. I think it can run up alongside the stock market as an alternative economy, but it'll run in parallel. I don't think it'll take over the stock market or the economy. That I chose that $80 trillion number because that is basically um, how much the stock market is worth worldwide, about $80 trillion. So it's not going to replace that, but it'll run alongside that. So my guess is that um, it'll take about 30 years instead. So maybe instead of like 2030, maybe 2045, 2050 is uh, my guess. And the reason is like the adoption rate of crypto, I think is gonna be much slower in, in mass than we think. Um, if you really look at the internet, it was like invented in the 1970s um, at a university. And then, you know, like, I remember actually getting my first hint of the internet, like in the early mid nineties, but it didn't really, really start to take over until the later 2000s or into 2010 when you know it actually matured with like youtube and uh you know facebook and all this other stuff it wasn't until about 2010 29 2010 that it actually exploded and the thing is the internet utility wise is actually greater than crypto because everyone uses the internet everyone uses these cell phones everyone has one of these phones um and even before everyone had one of these like smartphones like we all had the like the the you know the bricks basically the the phones on the go. And the thing is like for a lot of the, for a lot of the crypto use cases, they're not going to be so widespread or have that kind of widespread appeal. I mean, think about um, cross-border transfers. Like in terms of domestic transfer, you already have like Zelle, PayPal, um, Venmo, and I've never really heard of anyone complain about them being slow, honestly. So people don't really have problems with that. For international transfers, most people don't actually make uh, cross-border transfer so it's a much smaller market you're looking at logistics that's basically confined to that market and a lot of the other stuff you know gambling whatever it's kind of restricted to that niche so to get everyone actually on a decentralized blockchain using them for day-to-day -day and get people to demand them i think it'll take a lot longer just like the internet took you know 15 20 years to really permeate to everyone i really think crypto will take maybe 25 years or so we are still early in it but i do think it's going to take 25 years also, if you look at who's actually looking at crypto right now, people are saying, oh, it's the boomers that are keeping us back, you know, like the millennials, like my generation and Generation Z after us, they're going to be the ones that really adopt crypto. No, 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 no. You've been looking too much into the cryptocurrency industry and focusing in on that. You're not really looking at the broader world. Like in my generation, the millennials, I'm one of the older millennials. And the thing is like, most of my friends are a couple of years younger and out of all of them, there's maybe like one other person, maybe out of like the two dozen, there's maybe like one other person that's like maybe bought into Bitcoin or Ethereum. The rest of them don't really have investments in crypto. So, I mean, and all of them have 401ks, IRAs, you know, traditional investments. And there's a lot more of them that are actually invested in the stock markets, property and stuff like that. So even on the millennial crowd, the vast majority of them are in other investments before crypto and not too many of them have looked towards crypto. Yes, they are more techni technically competent than the boomers, which are our parents are, but there's not too many of them that have just like classed on crypto. And even many of them actually work in the technical field. So it's not like like it's not like millennials are just like rah we need crypto rah 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 that's only because you've been reading a bunch of cryptocurrency articles that make it seem like everyone's going towards crypto like businesses do not depend on crypto um not, like there aren't a bunch of businesses out there that are just like oh my gosh i hope crypto comes through so i can use it no no they're they're going on like with their business and they'll adopt crypto when it seems like reasonable to adopt crypto because many of them actually work fine without it um so that's i think it's a warped view for us in cryptocurrency that everyone is waiting for some kind of crypto revolution or financial revolution most people are not waiting for some kind of crypto or financial revolution even the younger people even in generation z you know those are maybe like 15 years younger than me or so 
you know, a lot, not a lot of them are actually into crypto. You know, a lot of them are still in college. So they don't really have that much money, but they don't really talk about crypto that much either right now. You know, they're, they're talking about, you know, like they do talk about like finances, stocks, bonds, you know, retirement funds, stuff like that. So that's even in generation Z, that's still a lot more prevailing in crypto. And that's actually what they've grown up with. Even generation Z has not grown up with crypto. Like Generation Y, my generation, the millennials, definitely didn't grow up with crypto because it didn't exist until we were in our mid-20s. And Gen Z, like, yeah, sure, Bitcoin started when they were like 10 years old or so. But the thing is, I mean, it didn't really get popular until basically like two years ago. So they didn't actually, they weren't brought up with it. Now, the, the generation after Generation Z, they will actually grow up with crypto. And when they get to my age in about 25 years or so, then I think like you have the perfect set for crypto to have like slowly taken over by them because they'll be familiar with digital payments. They'll be familiar with cryptocurrencies, digital assets, stuff like that, because um, they'll have grown up with it. They'll know what it is like right off the bat and there'll be much more discussion on it as they're growing up. But that's going to take another 20 years before they're into power and we're on our way out essentially. So I don't think, I don't think 10 years is nearly enough. I think like over the, a technology such as this that is kind of like niched into certain areas, I think it definitely will take a big transition of 20, 25, 30 years. So I'm looking at 20, I'm really looking at 2045, 2050, and not like 2030 for this mass adoption in society. I think 2030, there'll be more digital stuff, but most things will actually work as they have before. I really do think it's going to take the generation after me or like, you know, the generation that are like, my kids or like people who are maybe like 20, 25, 30 years younger than me to really usher in. Like I'm one of the, like we're kind of like the early adopters in the crypto, but to get from early to mainstream, to get everyone to accept it, to everyone, to make everyone want to change, I think it's gonna take a full generation too. Because if you really look at it, like transitioning from the boomers to my generation, we finally transitioned onto the internet. I mean, even generation X, a lot of those people aren't as technically proficient. Same thing, like with crypto, like, my generation, most of my generation may not be that familiar with it, may not be that comfortable with it, as I see towards my friends. And like their kids are gonna be the ones that are really comfortable with it. Like people, like kids under like five, 10 years old, cause they'll have grown up with it. So that's why I actually think, yeah, it might reach 80 trillion. It might actually surpass the stock market someday, but it's gonna take a full generation and not just five or 10 years. So let me know what you think, like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.